Hi, my name is Matthew Pierce. I'm a software engineer and today I'm going to show you how to export a path permanently in Linux. Now there are kind of two sort of classes of uh, exports and you know path exports you can do. You can either do it on the user level or you can do it uh, for the, on a system level for all users. Now if you're going to do it on the user level you're going to want to first check into your home directories dot pam environment uh, file. That's the one that's the most common place. It's the, it's recommended by Ubuntu to do it that way, and uh, it contains a list of assignment statement statements. It's not a script file that gets run, but it has the you know, path directories that you assign to variables, and you set your path up that way. Um, if you don't have one, my system doesn't have that that file. Then you would look in your dot profile file. And this is what I have right here. I've got two windows set up. I've got one, you can see them labeled here. This is for user and this is for system. Um, just a little uh, hint, if you're using shells in Linux, what you can do is go to the, tim the terminal menu here. You can set a title for each one. I do this at work because I have so many shell windows open, it's hard to keep track of where everything is. But that's just a useful little tip to help you uh, keep track of what your shells are meant for. So anyway, if you look in the dot .profile uh, uh, file, you can see that down here, it's got a path. You know, I export my path equals my home bin directory and the existing path. And this just says that I'm going to put the path to my any local uh, bin directory or private bin directory that says right here onto the front of my path statement so it shows up first. So when I go to run a program, uh, say I have two programs of the same name in two different bin directories, one in my private bin, one in the system bin, it's going to look in my private bin first and pick that one. And so that's just kind of, you know, you have to determine uh, how you want your system set up. So you have to determine the ordering. You can put that afterwards and look at the system first too, depending upon what you want. But that's how you do it with that file. Now, after the, uh, the dot .profile, there's um, bash profile or bash login, or actually it's dot bash profile or dot bash login that live in your home directory also. And the system uh, it prefers the dot bash profile over the dot bash login. And you can make changes there too, but the problem with doing it there is it won't affect your graphics session. It'll just affect your shells. Uh, and there's a, another place in your .bash rc file that lives in your home directory, and that's probably the most common place that people make changes uh, to their path directories and whatnot, and you know system variables for their local user uh, account. Um, however, you know you got to be careful when, when you're mucking around those things. You can mess things up, and then the, the, your your path, your script won't run, and then you'll end up with a shell with nothing set until you fix it. So it can be a real hassle. Now, um, a second place where you can make these changes is in the uh, system level. Um, and to do that, you'll want to look in, like the, the PAM environment directory, there's, there's a, a, an envir Etsy environment um, file, excuse me, not a, not a directory, a file. And it's, as you can see here, it's got my path, it sets my path up. And, and again, this isn't a script file, this is just a file that contains uh, you know, assignment statements. Um, so you could uh, put your path in there, but what's going to happen is the system is eventually going to run uh, the slash Etsy profile file, which will have, uh, it will have though your system variables and that too. And what it's going to do is it's going to source in your Etsy bash and some other files uh, and then it's going to export your path anyway. So you can you can also make your changes in your uh, slash Etsy bash dot bash RC file and that's the system wide version of the dot bash RC file. Um, and that file, the, the, the uh, bash dot bash rc file, it gets executed whenever the user you know, enters a shell uh, or, or starts up a shell or the desktop environment start, starts up. So this would be one a really good place if you wanted to do a system-wide uh, export of a path variable to, to put it right there because then it'll be available to the uh, graphic uh, environment as well as the user shells. My name is Matthew Pierce. Today I showed you how to permanently export a path variable in Linux. Thanks for watching.